Hello everyone! Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time, Sean did an amazing job uh, beating that Ursula Cauldron battle. I think you mean barely scraped by. Well, <laughs> okay, you did an amazing job for barely scraping by. Okay, that seems fair. <laughs> anyway, I'm Tennille. And I'm Sean. And I'm playing this time. And unfortunately, Ursula is not dead. So I'm right outside the uh, Sunken Ships map. Woo! Yeah. And we want to try and get over there. So now um, that we have Dolphin Kick... We can actually swim fast enough to fight this current. And, and get over here. Get now, over. Don't go to the fight yet. I'm trying um, not to. The current yeah. kind of pushes you. While we made our way over here, we actually did a little bit of grinding to get some of the drop items that these guys all drop because we're going to need them. So yep. we figured we'd get some more and we did level up in there, but I don't think anyone got any like super special abilities or anything. No, uh, Sora's level 32, Donald's 30, Goofy's 34. Yeah, but either way, we're now in this one area. Again, the game never tells you you need to go here. No. You just need to find this one obscure spot that's now available because you have Dolphin Kick. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's go in, Daniil. No oh boy. Question mark, question mark, question mark. My favorite. This is one of those cutscenes that um, we have memorized. Uh-huh, because uh, this is a boss I've died to a Many lot. Times. Because Ursula has a lot of attacks that are just, like, impossible to avoid. Mm -hmm. And they all come from her face. And that's the only place you can hit her. Yep. All right, so... Ooh, she was kind of frozen there for a second. Yeah. All right, you you might want to take okay, over the yeah. talking I'll, I'll, here. I'll talk a bit. So I need to focus on this fight. As you can tell, she has like three entire health bars here, and uh, she has a couple of different moves. This one, uh, she'll like start to suck you in. If you get pulled in, you will take quite well, a bit of damage like that. Um, her eyes go a little weird, which <laughs> is just fun. Funny. Um. Also, she is constantly attacking you with these little, like, storm bolt things that are impossible to, like, avoid. Uh, if you can, getting behind her is great, because she can hit you with very few of her attacks back here. But, but it's hard. It's hard to stay back here. You might want to heal. Yeah. Uh, more often than not, you're just going to want to try to wail on her as much as possible. Uh, especially when we do our races, we're always underleveled for this fight. We're extremely always both under -leveled. stuck here. Yeah, and we both get stuck here for quite a while. Yeah, so her main attacks are blow bubbles, try to eat you, ah. um, and use these thunderbolts constantly. Once you get her to about half health, I believe, she starts using another attack where she sends out even stronger bolts. Um, so this is a... I hate this fight. It is not a fun one. It's it's definitely one of those very memorable fights, though. Oh, yeah. Anybody who's played Kingdom Hearts there we remembers go. There this it is. fight. That was the giant bolts, and as long as you're within the range of the bolts, you get hit, even if you're not being directly hit, targeted by one of them. Yeah. Oh, and there they're one of those things that it's like, you're probably going to get hit, so you may as well not even try to dodge. Mm-hmm. The only, like, knowledge you have of what move she's going to use is uh, what, what she, she says. says. And unfortunately, because we're trying to do commentary and uh, we have the audio on the TV very low. Yeah. Uh, you can't, we are having difficulties knowing what exactly she's about to be releasing on us. Oh, oh gosh. You might want to use an ether or something. That's pretty true. Oh. Uh, uh. Uh, get out of the laser! I'm trying to move, but it's hard to do multiple things at once. While I'm out here, I'm just gonna use a high potion. Um, yeah. Or not. You you got it. Don't worry. Yeah. Oh, okay, good. Phew. Okay. So, 
Uh, she also has that laser attack that I completely forgot about. Yep. Like we said, she just has a lot of bullcrap moves. Yeah, it's like, because she's so big, they had to give her stuff that's like, okay, well, this will hit. Mm-hmm. So, this is really just a battle of attrition. Can you hit her more times than you, like... Than she hits you. Yeah, can she... Can she take out your H or your MP mm -hmm. before you can kill her? Because that's really the big thing here. And Donald and Goofy are just going to die. Like mm -hmm. that's that's just what happens. They are dead and right. they don't help. Play it safe. Um, she is almost dead, but keep continue yep. to play it safe. If you don't have Leaf Bracer for this fight, this becomes a huge pain in the butt. Yeah. Uh oh, watch uh, out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Oh. Oh, dear. Okay. I'd say drop a heal, yeah. Yep. And then go Come in for on. that final hit. Got there. her. Yay, oh. and our accessories go up, so we awesome. can actually hold another piece of item. Whew, that didn't go too bad. No. No, and again, because we were actually closer to the level we're supposed to be for this fight, that was much easier than uh, yeah. when we often do it. Yeah. Goodbye, you fat octopus. Lady. You scary, scary lady. Scary lady. Daddy, I'm so sorry. Please don't be angry with her. It's my fault. You followed Ursula because I wouldn't let you follow your heart. Um. Okay. Sure. sure. <laughs> That's the lesson you can get out of this. And when you found that crystal, I lost my temper and destroyed it. Oh, yeah, the crystal. Why'd you destroy it? That crystal held the power to reveal the keyhole. What did... <clears throat> The keyhole is dangerous. I had to keep it away, f you away from it at any cost. No. If no, you Triton, we could have locked it and then left, and it all would have been fine. Yes. Now your world is in perpetual danger because mm -hmm. you just left the keyhole wide open. Anyway, Daddy. Key bearer, I have one more request. Seal the keyhole. That's what we were trying to do. If you would just talk to us before shooting your lasers out of your Triton thing. Talk to me, baby. <laughs> My Triton also holds the power to reveal the keyhole. Will you do it? Of course. That's what we had in mind from the start. Where is the keyhole, Daddy? Ariel. Honey, please. You should know better than anyone. It's in your grotto. You die. <laughs> Really? Sora, let's go. Let's just leave this world. <laughs> All right, now we got Thundara. Oh, and Ansem's Report 3. I'm going to go to that right away. Let's do that before we forget. Now, you might be wondering, why did we get 3 and not 2? Well, we get them out of order. <laughs> well, you see, son, the game doesn't want to give you them to you in order because it leaves more mystery. It's it's like a metaphor for Kingdom Hearts in general. You just can't get the story in order, so just, get used to it. Just get used to it, and you're going to just get pieces all over the place. Yep. The shadows that crawl beneath the castle. Are they the people who lost their hearts or incarnations of darkness? Or something entirely beyond imagination? All my knowledge has provided no answer. One thing I am sure of is that they are entirely devoid of emotion. Perhaps further study will unlock the mysteries of the heart. Fortunately, there is no shortage of test samples. They are multiplying underground even as I write this report. Ew. That must be a mess. <laughs> they still need a name. <laughs> they still need a name. Those who lack hearts. I will call them the heartless. That is... A terrible name for that them. It's a terrible name because all they are are hearts. Yeah, but he doesn't know that, so... They literally are just 
hearts consumed by darkness. Yes. That is what a heartless is. Which is why, which is something I find is a really cool touch in this game, is why mm-hmm. whenever you defeat a heartless... Their hearts a are heart, released. A heart releases, yeah. You freed the heart from darkness. You're saving those poor souls. So, sort of. I sort mean, of. saving I mean, is a is a big term to it, use it's, here. It's difficult to say where Generous, they, th- where they say. went, but uh, yeah... Where, where are you going? Oh, we we're not finished this done. <laughs> like, let's go. Nope, we're not Goofy done. Goofy told me to leave, and so I was going to leave. <laughs> oh, no. We're not done yet. We still need to seal the keyhole. Oh, dear. You can swim faster. Yeah, I can swim faster. This is nice. Gotta go fast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Faster. All right, let's get to that grotto. Boop. Let me in. Get in. Let me in. Let me in. Get in the door. Hey, hey, get in the door. The keyhole is on a piece of glass that floats in the air underwater. In the air? It's not attached to anything. (laughs) 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 It's probably the strangest location for a keyhole. Yeah. What's it like? Oh, about that. Sorry for lying to you. That's confidential information, Ariel. We can't tell you. Just wait till Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. <laughs> I know I'll get there someday. That's not really a spoiler. Ariel's a summon in Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah, we've seen it in a trailer that she is a summon that you can use. Yeah. So she does eventually get to other worlds by being shoved in a tiny crystal. <laughs> I mean... They might be formed in a different way. Yeah, we we don't know. We don't know how summons work in that game, but she is definitely a summon. Yeah, at least what we think of as a summon. Mm -hmm. It might be called something different. I kind of doubt it, but either way, she does This is from my collection. I want you to have it. We got the crab claw. Yes, this is a good keyblade. Yes, this is definitely a stronger keyblade. Clean blade than what we have currently. Also, we should give ourselves another piece of equipment. Although it is like it still lists these as being more powerful. But uh, I think not. it's because they're optional keyblades. They're at the bottom of the list. Oh, maybe. Because they are. They're optional keyblades that you could get much later in the game. Anyway, this keyblade is a little bit longer than Three Wishes, and it has more MP. Yeah. And deals good physical damage, so right. that's good stuff all yeah, around. Let's also get uh, another thing on here. Let's see. Um, I think the attack might be useful. Uh, the Brave Warrior? Okay. Yeah. We had the Brave Warrior on earlier, and yeah. we took it off. So we'll put that back on. Because it ups our attack by one, but it also ups our HP by three. Mm-hmm. All right. Now we're done with the world, and we can leave. Phew. And again, Thank goodness. there is only one reason to ever come back to this world. Well, two, two reasons. reasons. Two, one, which is the reason to return to any world, is to grind out specific Heartless. Mm-hmm. Um, and the the only other reason is that Trinity. White Trinity. Yep. Which, I'm just going to let you know, White Trinities we can't touch for quite the, a while. The majority of the game. Yeah. But either way. Let's get out of here. Let's go and use more of your upgraded gummy shipness. Yeah, let's see if I can figure it out. <laughs> All right. Um, so now we have this place, which is... Seven stars. Seven, and this was six. So yeah. this is where we're going next. So let's warp back to Agrabah and drive on over to that other, to that other world. Yep. Yeah, and like we said before, if you were to try to go to that other world before um, doing Atlantica, Monstro would jump in your way. Yep. 
but now he is stuck on that other side. No, he's not. He's not? No. I he can he show up on either side. So we could get stopped here. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, we could get stopped here by Monstro. I thought he was stuck on that side then. Don't forget you have the lasers or whatever. I'm, I'm using both. Okay. It'll be interesting when I get the chance to try this out. Yeah, this is really weird, because I'm so used to using the high wind the entire time. Uh-huh. I'm going so fast. I mean, you know what we could do is we could potentially also uh, take one of these guns off and re-equip <laughs> re the just generic gun that shoots really fast. Yeah. Well, I mean, this does shoot moderately fast. I don't know why they shoot out in different directions like that, though. It's yeah, that's kind of the reason I was thinking we might want to equip the other one, because we're dying. It's fine, it's fine, I'm fine. <laughs> I just go so fast. Uh, we're out of laser juice. Oh. Oh dear. It's fine, I'm gonna make it. Watch out, watch oh, out. Oh dear, okay, okay, These okay. These are dangerous. Yep. No, 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 no. Whoa! He just crashed into you! Oh! Oh no. Alright, uh, let's just cut out the rest of this gummy ship until we get there. So, uh... We'll see in just a little bit. Yup. Yeah. Should, should I try and equip a different gun? If you want to, because I honestly think our guns are weird. Yeah. Okay, garage. Highway. This one. I don't know how this works. Okay, was it the cannon? Yeah, it's yeah that one right there. Just this is this what one? we want. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's let's take out uh, one of the two Gatling gun things. Yeah, let's take off this one. Yeah, I think that's the one that was shooting wildly. All right, that should be better. Okay. That's better. Yeah. Those are the guys that crashed into you. Watch out, here it comes. Hmm. Okay. okay, here we go. Here All we right, are. we made it back. We actually switched out uh, the weird gun shooting off to the sides to back to the one that shoots forward. Yeah. And here we are in a very interesting world, Halloween Town. Yeah. Time for Tim Burton action. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> oh, yeah, that sounded bad. <laughs> Seriously, though, best world. Mm-hmm. Now, this is probably going to sound really weird, but I never watched the movie, or probably even heard of the movie, until years after I got into Kingdom Hearts. Really? Well, I, so mean, I mean, I heard about it once... Uh, you played this game. Once I played this game, but I never actually watched The Nightmare Before Christmas uh -huh. until years after I first heard about it through the use of Kingdom Hearts. Well... I, I'd heard about it before I started playing Kingdom Hearts, um, mm -hmm. and then I played Kingdom Hearts, and then I watched the movie. Okay. So I, I kind of had a similar thing as you. Yeah, but... but it was definitely one of those things where I knew all the characters. Mm -hmm. I knew all of that stuff long before I ever watched the movie. Yeah. Which is just a very interesting window of how to get into The Nightmare Before Christmas. And I doubt I'm alone in that yeah, regard. I mean, Nightmare Before Christmas is definitely a cult classic, and in Kingdom Hearts, it's very, very popular. Like, mm -hmm. I think it's one of the most popular worlds that they go to. Yeah, honestly, I think Kingdom Hearts helped bring uh, the Nightmare Before Christmas from just, like, a cult classic into, like... More of, like, just an actual classic. Uh, an actual classic that uh, 
hot topic uh, capitalized on. <laughs> I mean, hot topic already loved Nightmare Before Christmas, I mm -hmm. think. But Kingdom Hearts definitely Ex encouraged that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, this sure is a spooky place. I'll bet the people here are scary looking too. Well, now we are. Don't worry, we look spooky too. If they scare us, we'll scare them right back. You think so? Yeah, I'm sure that's going to work out really well. I love these costumes. Mm -hmm. They're pretty great. So we got like Frankenstein, Goofy, and uh, Mummy Donald, who's actually see-through. Yeah, that's a really cool touch. Mm -hmm. And it's not just his like body. It's also there in his arm, too. Mm -hmm. It's good stuff. And then we got like Vampire Sora. Vampire Sora. So with, cool. It's such a good costume. Yeah. I love it so much. But it's let's, so cute. Let's get this world started. A very out of place keyblade. Yeah. That's one thing I wish they would give you the keyblades of the world that you were in, like sooner. Yeah. That way you could use them in the world that you are supposed to. Yeah. And... Uh, but yeah, these Heartless don't seem to be interested in fighting us at all. Yeah, just, how strange. They just kind of exist here. Also, um, everything has kind of like a weird grainy, grainy texture on it in this world. Mm-hmm. Allow me to introduce the master of terror, the king of nightmares, Jack Ellington! Will be a big hit at this year's Halloween. Thank you, thank you. But their movement still needs work. It's not scary enough. I want to strike bone chilling terror. I'm going to consult the doctor. This is a weird, uh, stilted, uh, talking from Jack. <laughs> I mean, he kind of talks like that anyway. Yeah. I'll go consult the, the doctor. doctor. I mean, he's not that bad in the movie, obviously. In the no. movie, it's it, it flows naturally because mm -hmm. he's a very Shakespearean kind of guy. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in the game here, it's kind of... Mm. <laughs> Either way, uh, yeah, like I was saying, there's grainy textures on all of the everything in this game. So a lot of the Heartless we see in other worlds are here, but they look different and it's great yeah they went above and beyond mm -hmm. just stylizing this world oh i've got it why of course the heartless need a heart doctor do you think we can add a heart to that device certainly a heart's not all that complicated ah, let's get to work to make a heart First, take a container with a lock. We need the key to this thing first! Why, why do you have a locked heart <laughs> and yet not the key to open it? You're really going to unlock it for them? Why not? If they succeed, we don't have to fight the Heartless, right? Besides, I want to see the Heartless dance, too. Don't you? Not really. <laughs> no! So boil sport. My, that was amazing. Uh, and you are... Sora. <laughs> well done, Sora. I'd like you to be a part of this year's Halloween. I love how tall Jack is. Yeah, Jack's a great well, character design. Mm -hmm. came to town just recently. What's frustrating is I can't get them to dance with me. So... The doctor and I are trying to improve the guidance system. He's quite a genius. Okay, doctor, let's continue. The ingredients for a heart. Pulse. Emotion. Terror. Fear. Hope and despair. <laughs> together, and we have a heart. Some ingredient. 
sense. Let's try adding memory. Sally? Sally! Good for nothing girl. Don't know why I bothered creating her. Sally's got the memory we need. See if you can track her down. No problem. Sora, would you like to come along? Sure. I want to see the heartless dance. Yeah. And yet again, unfortunately, not having Jack on our team. Jack is another one of those team members I actually would get on my team just because he's fun to have around. Oh, yeah, but there are actually trinities here you can miss. Mm-hmm. Permanently. Yep. So we don't want him. Uh, is there something on this bookshelf? Yes. yes, there is. It's a torn page. So now we have three of the torn pages already. And yet to go back to help Winnie out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Winnie the Pooh. Dad, we have a major crisis. The Heartless are completely out of control. We can't stop them. Hmm, maybe our experiment triggered something. Everything will be fine, Mayor. You have nothing to worry about. <laughs> no. I was like, really? Told you so. You messed with the fabric of the order of the world, and uh, <laughs> now, uh, now they they attack. <laughs> All right, yeah. Now we can actually fight things again. So an interesting thing to note about this world: this is the only world in Kingdom Hearts, as in you know, just this game, mm -hmm. that is based off of a movie that was actually 3D. That is true. So... I mean, in just Kingdom Hearts 1. That's what I mean. That's what I was saying. Like, just this game. Mm-hmm. But yeah, everything else in this game is all 2D properties. Yeah. And I mean, definitely part of that is because Disney had not... Um, really stepped into... 3D well, movies yet. hadn't at all, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, as I was saying, like, these little Shadow Heartless, they got the grainy texture on them, too. Yeah, they look all, like, dusty. They're really cute. I mean, Shadow Heartless are cute no matter what you do to them. Oh, yeah. All right. Here. There is some crazy platforming that can be had here, maybe. <sighs> got it. Go back over here. Yeah? Yeah. Uh. I thought it was like you jumped to the left more. Yeah, I'm trying to get it over here. There we go. There we go. Oh. They're kind of hard to see. Yeah. That is one thing about this world is it is. It does dark have the and same gloomy. problem that a lot of the worlds have, where it looks kind of samey. Mm -hmm. Now, that being said, I. The sameness is preferred to them going off of uh, the art direction from the movie. I guess, yeah. Um, we just got a power-up. Yeah. <laughs> Literally called power-up. It ups our power. Sora. So, there we go. First one of those we've actually gotten, and now we are stronger. Stronger. Much stronger. All right. So what are you going to do now? Uh, we need to head over here. Is there... I feel like there's uh, an item, like a chest hidden by uh, the one house we haven't gone to. Jack's house? Yeah, I think there's one near Jack's house. Uh, you might be thinking of Kingdom Hearts too, but I will check. I don't think it would be Kingdom Hearts 2. If anything, it was going to be like 358. Oh, wait. No, you're right. Yep, there yep. was a chest back there. I was right. So, yeah, this is actually where they have their items still. Yeah. Yep, Doesn't that's... do anything, but it's just something you can do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, it was a gummy. So worth it to uh, come <laughs> back here. Yeah, I... Gosh. I love the art direction of this. Mm -hmm. I mean, this movie is cool and everything, but just the fact that they copied the art direction so well. Oh, yeah. it 
this is a fun world for yeah. sure. To the graveyard. <laughs> Let's check this place too. Once the heartless are out of the out of our way. AKA kill everything. Kill all the heartless. Sometimes the game even recognizes that it has ridiculous puzzles. And so they give you a hint. Mm -hmm. But even the hints are like kind of out of place. Where, 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 oh my goodness. That took a while for him to come back. Yeah. Is that everybody? No. Oh no. We got these new guys. The whites. Yeah. Is that all they're called? White no, Knight. No, White Knight. They're called a White Knight. Because, in case you were unaware, white is a way of referring to a, like a skeleton or a ghoul or another... Mummy. Mummy, undead thing. I think it's dead, guys. <laughs> He's already dead. You just want to be extra sure. Mm-hmm. Hey, look, it's Zero. Hi, Zero. Have you seen Sally anywhere? We were just there. <laughs> no, everything's going great. We're going to have the best Halloween ever. All we need now is your memory. Memory? You mean this? A forget me not. Yeah, I guess that works. I That's so cute. Why don't you try something else? There's still time. Nothing could beat what I've got planned. Once we give the Heartless a heart, they'll dance just as I envisioned it. Trust me, you're going to love it. I'm concerned. <laughs> we should always listen to Sally, mm -hmm. because you can't give the Heartless a heart. <laughs> All right, well... I have a bad feeling about this. If only Jack would reconsider. Well... I'm happy if he's happy, but I'm just worried about him. Maybe he'll reconsider next time, because we have hit the end of this episode. Oh, okay. Yep. So join us back here next time as I jump back into even more Kingdom Hearts Final Mix uh, Halloween Town action. Yeah. See you guys then.